Hello everyone. Today in this video I am going to show you how you can create a restore point on your Windows 10 computer. System restore takes a backup of the system configuration and settings and saves them as restore points. If any critical problem occurs after installing a system update, driver, application, or after modifying system settings, you can use the restore points to revert the computer to an earlier point in time before the issue began. Restoring will not affect any of your personal files, but it will remove applications, drivers, and updates installed after the restore point was made. To create a restore point, click on the Start menu and search for Create a Restore Point. Now click here. Under the Protection Settings section, select the system drive where you have installed the operating system and press the Configure button. Now enable the Turn on System Protection option. Here you can allocate the maximum amount of space that you want to use as system protection. System protection will not use the whole space that you have allocated, it is only the maximum space that it can use. Now click Apply, and then OK. Now press the Create option, and name the restore point that you are creating. Click on Create, and wait until the restore point is created. Now click on close. Congratulations, you have successfully created a restore point. You can use this restore point if any problems occurs after installing a system update, application, or after modifying system settings. To use the created restore point click the system restore button. Then next. Here you will find all the restore points that you have created. Select the restore point that you want to use and click Next. Now click Finish. Read this warning message carefully and click on Yes. This process will restart your computer. So save any open files and close all softwares. Once the process is done, your computer will return to the previous good working state. But it will remove the softwares and drivers installed after creating the restore point. Don't worry, it won't touch any of your personal files and folders.